the new SUV could get a 300 horsepower turbocharged engine. If we're lucky. The paint has barely dried on the all-new Skoda Karuk SUV, but already rumors are circulating as to a high-horsepower VRS model. Reports suggest that the hot SUV could go up against the Cita Tika Cupra, making for a bit of VW Group sibling rivalry. According to Autocar, company CEO Bernhard Mayer said that there is obviously a demand for an SUV with a VRS badge, and that the new Karuk has all the ingredients which make the Skoda a VRS. If the Karuk VRS did come to market, it would likely use the same 300 horsepower, 223 kilowatt turbocharged four-cylinder engine found in the Atika Cupra. For now, the Skoda CEO admits the company hasn't made a final decision on the project. Until then, buyers will have to make do with the standard Karoq. The base SUV comes with a 1.0-liter three-cylinder engine producing 115 horsepower, 85 kilowatts, a 1.5-liter TSI Evo engine that produces 150 horsepower, 110 kilowatts. That's the same engine you'll find on the new VW Golf, as well as 1.6 and 2.0-liter TDI units. No horsepower figures were given for diesel just yet. Depending on which engine you choose, the powertrain is paired to either a 6-speed manual gearbox or a 7-speed DSG. Pricier versions will be available with all-wheel drive, of course, while the lower trim models will come standard with front-wheel drive. The new Karoq will go on sale the second half of 2017, and though Skoda has yet to reveal all the details, expected to come relatively close to the Cita Tika and VW Tiguan in terms of price, around 25,000 or so.